So that's me. That's uh, that's just there to um, just by, while away the time while I work my way into it. You've actually got 19 slides. Bang, Benjamin Blue. Anybody here know him? Dead now. <laughs> <laughs> He's been going 60 years, we've been talking about Benjamin Bloom. And I know that when you go to teach during college, yeah. and you, do the same, you learn all about it. And then you jump out in there in front of learners, and sometimes we forget. So one of the things that I tend to have done during um, periods gone by, sorry about the noise, I forgot there was noise on there, is to try to remind teachers and trainers about Benjamin Bloom, because actually the taxonomy still works no matter what technology you use, and that's part of the problem. We all sing and dance and sing about um, technology, but in fact it's the pedagogy behind the technology that's really important. The original taxonomy, which he had to fight to call taxonomy, started at the bottom with knowledge. We know things. Then we understand things, comprehend what goes on there. We apply them, we, have, uh, we, we perform analysis, synthesis and evaluation. We do those in secular motion as we go through in different as time went by and people began to use that, Anderson and Crackwell, two of his students, came along and thought, actually, it's a bit static, it's a bit academic, it's a bit, it's not what we like. And they came along and, um, I can't remember what the word is now, renewed, reviewed, um, reissued, if you like, um, Bloom's taxonomy. But they revised, that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> but they made, they, add, they made it sort of in. Everything was much more active. It became remembering. It became then understanding, applying, analysing. They relegated evaluation. Evaluation and synthesis. I'm a chef, I don't know the difference between the two. So in fact, we got rid of synthesis and we put creation at the top there. Bang, that was okay. Now, that picture, those two pictures there to ask, Eiffel Tower, what's the capital of France? Paris. Paris. Paris, that's right. So we know that, we know that. Tomato is a fruit, do we know that? Yes, yes. yes we do, tomato is a fruit. So we know that, we're at the knowledge uh, and we remembered uh, those sort of things. What's this? Fruit salad. Fruit salad. But we, we have to understand not to put a tomato into a fruit salad, despite it being a fruit. And, and this is a fire extinguisher, which we'll come back later. Um, we have to know what kind of fire we find the fire extinguisher at. Not the fact that it's a fire extinguisher and it will put out the fire. So we have to go up that cycle. The application bit comes in when you actually are faced with a fire and faced with two or three different fire extinguishers because you have to think quickly, how do I do this, which one do I use, how do I apply it? And of course there's a tap because we apply our fingers to a tight brush, don't we? See? Take a breath. Move on. The analysis, I used to teach Cajun, as I said, so that students know that a mushroom is a fungi, a fish swims in the sea. Then they have to understand how that can be prepared. Then they have to um, apply that. But actually, if they come to develop new menus, new recipes, they have to analyse those other bits that they've got around in cycles to do. Okay, ah, James, wonderful. Evaluation comes from your customers. They leave it on the plate, it's not very good. Um, but they're actually not working. They're working in a cognitive domain, but they don't realise that because it's not a learning process. But we're moving gradually up now. But creation. I couldn't remember what this guy did. I know he's making oceans. And, and the last time that I looked at this picture, I was thinking, what's he doing? Farrier. I've got him down as a blacksmith. But he's creating things. Well, just think of all the things he has to know and remember and apply and understand before he can actually make those things without burning himself or his shed down. The taxonomy can be split into two, pots and lots. Okay? Low order thinking skills, high order thinking skills. <coughs> And again, I, I still like to use the both. I use them both interchangeable, the, the old and the revised um, taxonomy. Because I think each one applies for different purposes. But we all know. <coughs> this is an example of lower order thinking skills, and apologies to one person in the room. But this was at um, an event where I shown teachers the uh, taxonomy, and this is where they stuck things. So they remembered that the words were right, but they couldn't apply where to put them. Uh, but they were all in the wrong order. That's it because I couldn't think of an example of a higher order thinker school. You can't think of much higher than that. That's Mount Rainier from Seattle. These are houses down here. So you can see that's much higher than those. <laughs> and what a wonderful picture to show a big screen like that. That's the, <laughs> that's the only reason it's there. I think the next one is uh, one I stole from Lillian. This is a quiz I stole from Lillian. It's interactive, 
What's the other one out? Your turn, I shall. Shout them out. Odd one out. Come on. Printer. Printer. Why? Exactly. It's a lower order thinking skill, though, wasn't it? You just know that. You just know that. That's an output device to the rest of the input devices. What about this one? Come on, you've 19 seconds. 18. Which is the odd one out? Come on. I've stopped talking now. It's up to you. It's either A, B, C, or D. B? Who says B? Who says A? C? Oh, C. So a lot of C. There's a lot of people saying that uh, the smiley face balloon is out. Actually, there is no odd one out because it was the discussion that you were going to analyze and synthesize and blah, 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 and all that sort of stuff. What sort of tools can you use? Camera. You can use a camera that can work at the top end, the pointy end of balloons. Phone. A little phone here. Catch it as a voice recorder. But it's you who designs the task. It's not the technology that counts. It's the task that counts. Bless. That's another picture that I like there. They've <laughs> achieved the higher points of blues. They're already very happy, very much in love, because they're there to tell me that the next screen is the final screen. And, that's it. and, the, same, and the final screen, because I got rid of the psychomotion and the cognitive domains because I thought it's just too much in six minutes, 40 seconds. That's me. Deep breath.